pretty much as long as I can remember. I saw military personnel, uniform on, flag patch on their shoulder. I kind of thought, that's what I want to do. I want to wear that uniform. Senior year of college, September 11th, came up on the calendar. And it was that day that our ROTC instructor kind of looked at all of us and he said, today your lives will change. It's not a matter of if you'll deploy to a foreign country. It's, you know, it's more a matter of when. In early 2004, our entire 1st Cavalry Division out of Fort Hood was deployed over to Iraq. My heart started to beat a little bit faster, knowing that the possibility of how dangerous it could be, but you never think something like that's gonna happen to you. It's always like somebody else. April 13th, 2004, woke up like I did every other morning in Iraq and got into our vehicle like I always did. But about 10 minutes into the ride, our vehicle goes under this bridge and there's just this deafening boom. And there's black smoke, you know, the smell of metal, the windshields crashed in, our vehicle is swerving all over the place. So we knew that a roadside bomb had struck our vehicle. I looked down, there was a lot of blood. I had no idea the extent of my injury. I know now that my leg was gone. That day definitely changed the trajectory of my own life. Being retired from the military, I was trying to figure out what was next, and here it was. I was gonna be a Paralympian. Baghdad to Beijing. I did not do well. I wasn't on the podium, but representing our country, I mean, incredible. Come back from Beijing, I got called and said, hey, would you like to do a triathlon? And I remember being like, triathlon? Like, swim, bike, and run. That seems like that's kind of crazy. Like, who wants to do that? I'm like, you know what? Rio 2016, I want to be there. Of all days that my race could have taken place, it was September 11th of 2016. Like, that was my day. And it was almost like it was meant to be. Getting a bronze medal felt like a personal gold because my teammates who had got gold and silver were at the finish line with that American flag. Talk about a moment that will forever go down. It's one of the greatest moments of my life. I've known Melissa for quite some time and kind of watched her career in awe. And so I feel like she embodies the spirit of Angela Madsen, who was a coach and mentor and partner of Angel City Sports. And we want to do something that carries her legacy that we never forget her. And so last summer, we came up with the Angela Madsen Courage Award and Melissa Stockwell is the perfect first recipient of this award. They're both veterans you know, both injured during their time of service, both Paralympians. It's a true honor to be one of the community partners of Fox Sports Supports. What a blessing to the world that they're out there supporting organizations like Angel City Sports. I hope to be remembered how Angela's being remembered. Someone who didn't give up, as someone who was a great mother, someone that didn't let a disability define her. It's so important, especially for these young girls and boys, to know that it's okay to struggle, but know that you have a team of people, your family's your team, your friend's your team, and they can help you kind of rise up and get through those hard times. Yeah.